Sherry and I have been married for 36 years. In our second year of marriage, we bought a vacuum cleaner that has lasted us to this day. This is our review of the TriStar CXL Compact Vacuum Cleaner and how we have kept it running for all these years. This review is our experience and we have not received any compensation for the mention of or images of any company or products in this video. But if TriStar wants to send us money, we will be glad to take it. To start with, this vacuum cleaner is built to last. Everything on it can be replaced with simple tools. Not that there's a big need to replace things. Mainly, it's just things wear out with time. After 34 years, something is going to give. And the things that do wear out are not expensive to replace. The most expensive components, they've lasted for this entire time without a problem. For example, the power cord was damaged by one of our dogs chewing on it. Well, I just went down to Home Depot and bought a 50-foot extension cord, cut the female end off, and wired it into the vacuum. Total cost was about $10, and the cord worked better than the original because the original was a thinner wire and only 20 feet long. Although I'm now thinking of shortening it because the motorhome we live in is only 40 feet long. I don't need a 50-foot cord. So you went from long longer now you want to go shorter got it recently the bolts holding the bottom plate of the power head stripped out and would not work anymore so i had to repair this the cause of the problem is the bolts that were used were self-threading this type of bolt is good for assembling parts one or two times but this plate is removed any time there is a problem in the power head such as hair or anything else wound around the beater bar. It could be a belt change, or there could be something clogging the intake hose, and so on. And using this type of bolt repeatedly in the same hole will eventually damage the threads in the hole to the point where they don't hold anymore. The simple solution is to take it apart and rethread the holes with a tap. This is an easy fix that only requires some new bolts, a drill bit, and a tap to cut the new threads, and a little time to remove the top of the power head. To start, I just remove the bottom plate, then the two screws are, that are just behind the beater bar. Then the top will come off. The original size of the bolts is a number eight screw. Number 10 size screws is the next size up and the 24 threads per inch will be more durable than the 32 threads that were used. With everything ready, I drill out the original holes with a bit for the 1024 tap. Then I put a little dab of grease on the tap. This is to lubricate it and is less messy than cutting oil that really gets all over everything. I put the tap into place in the hole and press down on the wrench while turning the tap. Once it starts the thread, I can just spin it in. I will back it up every once in a while, a little bit, to keep the tap from clogging too much, and then continue to cut the thread until it is at the depth I need. Then I just repeat on the other hole. Now, I do have tap handles that are specially designed to hold a tap, but I find that a wrench works well in soft materials like aluminum and magnesium, and I had it in my pocket. After both holes have new threads, I just put it back together, starting with the top plate, making sure to put sliding vacuum power switch back in place first, then just flip it over and put the screws in that hold it together. This vacuum cleaner has always done a better job than any other vacuum we've ever had. 
Part of the reason is that the airflow is consistent until the dust bag is absolutely full. We've always had inside pets, and as Sherry is a groomer, there's always hair and fur in the carpet. We had hair, lots of hair. This lasts us through about six dogs, four cats, and me tracking in other dogs' hair. This vacuum cleaner picks it all up. And it does a, such a good job and doesn't really lose power as the bag fills that sometimes we don't even remember to empty the bag for months at a time. He'll just keep packing it in. Until it looked like a large chihuahua. Now, yes, this did cost us a lot of money back in 1983. It was about $1,300. And we've spent maybe $200 over the 34 years that we've had it for maintenance and things like that, replacement of parts here and there. But it has kept going until now, and it seems at, to be as strong as it was when we first bought it. Even stronger, maybe. So overall, this has been a good purchase. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.